Okay, welcome to my studio again. This and what we've been doing is taking a progression of stages. We started out with just a basic still life. See what happened, I had a bunch of paint left over and I don't like to waste the paint, so I said, you know what, I'll start a little simple still life. You all can see the progression of it. And, and, and this is good practice for you all to do in your studio. So what we've done, we went through the, the drawing, the design of it, we toned it, and now we reconstructed it. And now we're gonna take in we're going to put in a uh, what we call a tonal. We're going to tone in the colors that we see, just basic local colors. Okay, let's start out with the darkest darks we see. Now, you're going to lose your lines again, so don't worry about that. Don't let that bother you. And here I have my canvas is pretty much set up already, and we're just going to use the colors we have here. Basically, let's look at, I see a dark blue down there, a little dark with a little purple in it. And that's in the grave. So just what we do, we're going to scumble the color in here, dark first. Now you're gonna lose these lines, but we'll get them back. Don't worry about that. Darks first, and go to the middle, and go to the lights. You can have a lot of fun with these stages. Now this this will start teaching you how to use color, how to mix color. Okay, what do you see? The next darkest color I see is basically a red. Just take a basic red. And I had to pull a little bit off here because I've used it, but that's okay. Okay. You don't need a lot of paint on your, your brush to do this. Get into the dark colors. Start getting into the middle colors. Okay. Now your shadows are basically, they're uh, middle tones, so let's go in some of the middle tones. Here we have the colors already mixed here on the palette. We'll just use that. I'll give you another clue about shadows. Basically, an apple, which is red, this apple, in this case, is red, it'll cast a shadow to its complement, which will be green. If you look at that real close, there's a very, kind of a greenish tint to it. Let's add a little bit of green to that shadow. Okay. Now, the more you study color, the more you're going to see color. White. Use white. Use white very sparingly. Don't use too much of the white. Okay. Now, some of the other middle values here are into the green right up in. It's a little, little, uh, little higher intensity green right up through here. A little warmer as it gets out in there. Take your time. You can have a lot of fun with these little uh, value sketches. Toning sketches, drawings, just take your time with these. Okay. Clean your brush in between colors. Now, as we're going up and around, let's do the apple right now. See some beautiful orange colors up in there. And we're right here, we have the orange already mixed. Let's just take it right off our palette. And it gets into a very high intense red. Let's let's get a kind of a cadmium red and try that. A little bit too high. Bring it down a little bit here. I'm just using colors right off my palette. This is the nice thing about the colors are already mixed for you now. That grew up you don't want to waste. Especially paints are very expensive today. Let's just tone a little bit right down in here, a little bit of layer color right in there, okay? Let's go back to the grapes real quick. Let's go into the middle value here. What do I see? It's kind of a bluish tint. It's got a uh, cerulean with a little white into it. There's some little bits of red in there. Let's just take a little bit in here, the color. Beautiful red. I'm just taking it right off the palette. Now here again, you have a uh, little bit of a cast shadow down here. And it's, what I see, I see kind of a cerulean blue. 
basically it's got some warm colors in here too but we won't put them in right now now you think that canvas is white let me show you really quick what white is let's take a little bit a little bit bigger brush here and you have to evaluate white sometimes you see think the canvas is white but watch what happens when I put white right here look how much whiter that is in the canvas the colors I use, basically, I use a uh, mixed white. Okay. There's your canvas. See the difference? Okay. And each canvas is going to be a little bit different as far as the uh, tonal quality of it. Okay. Let's just put a little bit of warmth down in here, and then we'll, we'll leave this for a while. And the next, the next free lesson will be uh, showing you how to apply the color. little bit. Here I'm grabbing the color right off the palette again. It's already mixed for us. A little bit of warmth over here. Okay. Okay. Let's go a little bit lighter. This shadow here is just a little bit dark. Let's lighten that up just a little bit. All right, that concludes this part of it. And like I said, thank you for dropping by. My, you can go to my website, dickensingartist.com, or you can write me on the internet, dickensing at bellsouth.net. And again, thank you for dropping in. I hope this helps you a lot.